Blessings everybody, Evangelist Celia here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you go ahead right now. And I'm going to ask that you just subscribe to the channel. I'm going to ask that you like the videos, watch the videos, share the videos with somebody, comment on the videos. Now, if you are not new and you are have always been supporting the channel thanks for the support thanks for the continuous support i really appreciate each and every one of you to all the new subbies for those that have recently subscribed to the channel thank you for subscribing to the channel and i know that this channel will be a blessing to you just at, as it has been a blessing to so many others if you are new, let me tell you, I go live every Thursdays, 10.30 a.m. And every Sundays at 4 p.m. Thursdays, we do Let's Chat. Sundays, you come on in and let us worship, hear a word, be blessed by a word. Now, in today's video, it's not so much. I didn't really plan to do a video on this, per se. I didn't plan to do a video. But... You know, the Lord has just been speaking to me regarding this situation. So many things have been happening regarding our children. And I've just been praying to God and I'm asking God, God, where are you in all of this? And I know that you are there. And, and there are so many thoughts that comes to mine and so many things you know you know we are humans and i always say i'm just real i don't pretend to be something or somebody that i am not i'm just real and as humans you know that it doesn't matter how much we we know the word and we pray and you know we we we, we try to be obedient to god's word as human when things happen we hurt it grieves our spirit because we are human. Now, in the past two weeks, there have been so many cruelty, so many cruelty towards our children. And I've been praying about it and I've been talking to God about it. And when I heard the news of the eight-year-old girl, Talia Thompson, you know, it just broke my heart. It just broke my men may tell me I cried as if it was my child. It broke my heart. I, I, I couldn't even listen. Every time I, I book it up on social media or I come across it on social media, I would just quickly, I don't want to hear about it. It grieves me spirit. It grieves my spirit. Before that, the other young girl, before Talia. I, I, I mean, we, we, we don't even come out of that one good. That one has not left our memory before this one. And then there is always another one after the other. So many things have been happening in our schools recently. Where we saw what happened with the B.B. Coke high school students, where one student beat another one mercilessly. That, that young man, he could have passed to God be the glory. Mercy, he was spared. You know, mercy, mercy rewrote what might have been. You know, and it's like every day you hear something else one after another just yesterday i heard we're over 60 students i'm not even sure if it's 60 but that's what i hear over 60 students were rushed to the hospital 60 students from a particular school they were rushed to the hospital for medical attention because of a sweet that they ate and i these things just grieve my spirit today is not so much of a day i am just sharing 
I am just sharing with you what the Lord has laid on my heart. And this is a advice. Some will take it. Some will not take it. This is a message especially to our parents. Not even an advice, but a message, a warning to our parents. Some will and some won't. Because just like how it was in the days of Noah, where Noah was building the ark and many people laughed at Noah, said that Noah was drunk and there wasn't going to be a flood and nobody paid Noah any mind. It was until it started to rain and the rain wouldn't stop. It was at that time where they started to call, Father Noah, Father Noah, open up the door unto us, help us. But the doors were already shut. The doors couldn't be open because it was not Noah who shut, who closed those doors. It was Christ himself. So just as it was in the beginning, the Bible says, so shall it be in the end. Many will hear and take heed. Some will hear and decide not to take heed. But this is a message to especially the parents, the mothers, mothers, let us pray for our children. For those of you that are praying for your children, continue to pray. Continue to see God. Cover your children. Cover your children under the blood of Jesus. For those of you that have not been praying, you need to start to pray. When you send out your children to schools, in the morning, don't just wake them up and send them out. Cover them. Pray, declare and decree the words of God over their lives. Declare and decree who they are. Don't just send them out. These days, I, and I am not even criticizing anyone because that's not or never my intention. But the truth is the truth, irrespective of how some persons might feel. I call a spade a spade when I see a spade. I don't say it's something else. These days, so many persons take the time out to teach their kids the latest dance moves. Sometimes when I see them, I wonder how long did it take that child to learn that, that, that move? Some little babies. And they will tell you that they are too young to serve the Lord. But they are not too young to learn the latest dance move. They are not too young to die. They are not too young for all of these things to happen to them. Teach your children to pray. The time you take and teach them the latest dance move. Moves, teach them to pray. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus. Teach them. There's a saying that says, children live what they learn. You as parents, a lot of the parents don't even pray themselves. And I am not even going to say this is not anybody's fault, the fault of the parents. But I believe if mothers, parents, seek God more, ask him for his protection, his intervention in the lives of our children, Declare the words of God over our child or our children. You know, the Bible says that the weapons may form, but the weapons cannot prosper. There will always be weapons forming. We are in this world. Satan is the prince of the air. He goes to about to and fro in the earth, seeking whom he may devour. And if him sees him can devour your child, you best believe he's going to devour your children. If him see same can devour you as the adult, he's going to devour you as the adult. There are a lot of things happening. Principalities and powers of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. The rule of, of, of darkness. Agents of Satan. They are here, there and everywhere. In the schools, in the community. Around our children. And our children become victims to these Agents of darkness, these demonic, these demonic agents and demonic assignments. Pray with your children. Take time out to pray for them.
Cover your children. Cover your children. Don't just send them off. When you leave your home or your child leave, leave your home in the morning to go to school and you see them return, it's the only the mercy of God. Why? They, they, they leave out and they come back, come back safely, come back in one piece. So many parents send their kids to school and they only get a call that come to the school, come to the hospital. And then when they reach to the school or to the hospital, they get a, a, the, the worst news. The worst news of their life. I can imagine how parents must feel when they send out their children to school and they don't return. When they send their children to school and they send them to school and then they get a call to go to the hospital. Some will hear and some will not hear. Some will take heed. Some will not take heed. The prayer of a mother avail it much. The Bible says that she takes her children before the throne of grace and presents them to Jesus, pleading for his blessings upon them. The influence of those prayers to those children as a well springing of life. We have to pray for our children. There are so many things going on. There are so many demonic altars, so many altars set up in the, in, 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 in the school system. They are all around. When we send our kids out, when they live outside of our homes, they are exposed to so many things. Some controlling spirit, mind controlling spirits that control their minds. They cannot help themselves. Some of them behave some way and you will think say, it's normal. You will say, a, bo a bad the pitney bad or out of order, the, the pitney out of order. Far from it, they are wrestling with some things that they themselves don't even understand. And I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I am saying. I am not referring to the incident at the B.B. Coke High School. That this is what happened. Disclaimer. I am not referring to the incident at the B.B. Coke High School. That this is what happened. But I am just saying as the Lord late in my heart, late in my spirit to say. A lot of our children are struggling. Struggling. Wrestling with things that they don't understand. They themselves don't know what is happening, wrestling with spirits. They don't understand. They can't fight them off. They cannot fight them off. And then, from wrestling with it to can't fight it off, they become possessed with all type of, 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 of demons and devils and all types of spirits. Let us pray for our children. Yesterday, it could have been otherwise. Yesterday, we never must only hear say students were rushed, rushed from a particular school to hospital. You know, we could have we could have received the news that over sixty, over fifty of our students' lights gone out. The country would be in mourning. Parents would be in mourning. Brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews. This island needs Jesus. Jamaica needs Jesus. And I believe that prayer changes things. I know that prayer changes things. And if we come together and call on the name of Jesus, he, he, he will help us. He will help us. He will help us. He will help us. Let us pray for our children. For those of us who are praying, let us continue to pray. 
And for those of you who take everything for a joke and take it lightly, some person's eyes will never be open. Some person's eyes will never be open. They will always be in the dark. Cause they take everything simple and everything for a joke. Wake up. Mothers, wake up. Fathers, wake up. Jamaica, wake up. Our leaders need to wake up. Wake up. We need Jesus no more than ever. And in a time like this, when we are in, I can say we are in the last days. I know the last, last days, but we in at the last days because we can see some of the signs that the, the, the Bible tell us to look out for that signifies signs of the times and the last days. They are happening right now. Right now they are happening. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Ball out to God for your no pitney. Cry out to God for your no pitney. Let us cry out to God. Prayer is the key. It opens doors and it closes doors. It sets captives free. Prayer can do anything. It can change any situation. All we got to do is go to God with a heart. Confess our sins before him. The Bible says that he is willing and he is able, he is just, and he will forgive us. The word of God says in Chronicles, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Too much sin in other country. Too much, too much too much innocent lives being destroyed. Too many murders. Innocent people lights out just like that. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. Mothers, cry out to God for your children. Pay attention to what is happening. Pay attention to what is happening. And let us try to do the right thing. The Bible says, He that had ears to ear, let him hear. I hope everyone that will come across this video will not only just listen, but will hear. Be obedient. Yes, man. Pray. A lot of times we take, we, a lot of times some persons take so many times, times, that could be used as prayer time, valuable time, and take so many times and do so many other things. Use those times, those hours, those minutes to pray for your children. God bless you, everybody. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to share. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, Evangelist Celia here. Shalom.